Okay. Uh, here we are. Continue. There we go. Yeah. So, okay. So, yeah. So, so welcome very much to the December Agile and Lead, Agile Leaders and Managers Meetup. Um, so, see, Rich, now, now you've got me starting again, right? I'm doing it too <laughs> formal. Right? <laughs> That's all Round two. That's it. No, we're carrying on, right? Take two. <laughs> it's December, right? We're not far away from Christmas. Number one intent is we're going to have a bit of fun. Right? Um, number two intent is for um, those people who don't know about the Agile 20 Reflect, who have heard of the Agile 20 Reflect and don't really know too much about it, we want the ambassadors here to share a bit more about him. The third item we want to do is uh, our meetup. We want to do something specifically for the Agile 20 Reflect in February. Um, February being the 20th anniversary of Snowbird for the Agile Manifesto. So therefore we would like to bring some stuff out there. Other wonderful benefits are if we come up some other uh, events and things outside of our meetup that other meetups or other groups can can do uh, and i'm specifically looking at surajit here as i'm talking surajit thank you for coming i know it's midnight there in india you are fantastic right see this, this is dedicated people <laughs> thanks richard nice to meet you all um so so that's the main benefits let me introduce the uh the organizers of the uh, the Agile Leaders and Managers Meetup. I am myself, Richard Cornelius. Uh, and then if you want to wave, Rich. Right, that's Rich Stevens. Hi, uh, wave, Sabrina. <laughs> and that's Sabrina, Bruce. <laughs> um, and I'm going to stop talking there, let those two talk, and then we will introduce and move straight on to the ambassadors. Absolutely. Ladies first. Go on, Sabrina. Oh, really? So you want us to do an introduction? I think most people that have joined our, our group probably know us by now, but I'm an Agile coach, trainer, Agilist. Um, I actually work with Richard uh, Stevens and I also used to work with Rich Cornelius. And actually, I'm a lucky person to actually be involved in the Agile 20 Reflect as well with these wonderful people. So today's quite a very exciting day. So... Um, hopefully you enjoy today um, and if you ever have any questions um, you can always link you know, send us a message on LinkedIn please add us on LinkedIn if you're interested in the stuff that we're doing we have got a LinkedIn page coming soon we're just in the middle of building it so hopefully we'll be able to advertise that out soon. Rich. Um, thank you Sabrina. Hi everyone this is the highlight of my day really seeing so many friendly faces meeting some of you again and again I mean it's becoming kind of a, of a small family that we get together is just before holidays so and Christmas. So probably it's gonna be the last thing that we do this month. But I'm really excited that we get a chance to promote all this Agile 20 uh, Reflect Festival. We are um, able to celebrate the work you guys been doing for so long. And even in a small part, if we can help you with, with this journey, we feel privileged. So thank you very much. And then introducing, uh, um, the guys around. So shall we get started with Jack? And Jack, you pass it around. You're on mute, Jack. Yes, yeah, sorry. I, I was not expecting that. Hi guys, um, Jack, I'm Northern European ambassador for Agile Tech Reflect. Managed to jump in, loving every single moment of it. I'll be one of the ambassadors taking you through the session today, followed by, I'll hand over to Shane. That's not a bad handover. Um... Yeah, my name's Shane Gallon. Uh, I got involved with uh, Agile 20 Reflect via Jack. Um, so I got involved uh, to be the ambassador for the Republic of Ireland. And um, yeah, I'm super excited about it. Uh, yeah, and, and I can maybe describe a little bit more about this uh, as we go through the session. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll pass it over to Mimi. Hi guys, so um, I'm one of the ambassadors as well. My name is Mimi. Um, most people refer to me in the Agile world as the um, the Mary Poppins or the Mimi Poppins of Agile <laughs> because I like to link my previous career as a nanny to my current Agile career. Um, I was actually brought in by the 
ambassador for East Africa. Um, he was the one who told me about the Agile 20 Reflect. And I am super excited about the festival coming up. I'm going to pass on to Mercy. Thank you, Mimi. Um, what can I say? I wasn't expecting that as well, but it was a good pass. My name is Mercy Georgi Buffet. I'm the founder of Lentor. I'm located in Nigeria. I'm the ambassador for Nigeria as well. And um, I just, it was a friend of mine that actually told me about the Agile 20 Reflector and said, oh, Mercy, I think you should sign up and lend your expertise to the, and it's been <clears throat> a game changer. I love the key word that was said during the interview yesterday. It's been an accelerated learning experience for me personally. And um, like uh, Sabrina would say, <laughs> I like to do multiple things so many times. <laughs> I have to keep Mercy in check. <laughs> <laughs> she does a good job of that. So I think we're covered. Who else needs to be introduced? I pass it to Sabrina or who else? Please help me. <laughs> well, I'm I think it's down to you guys. Good. Let's, let's get started. Let's pass it on cool. Take on for the, the rest of the next hour. Cool. Um, we've got some slides, uh, really, um, for visual aid, and uh, they set the scene for some of the discussions uh, this afternoon. We're also going to be using a uh, Slido uh, this evening, um, and we'll be using uh, the code, which is I'll put it into the chat here as well. Um, and th this is really just to get some interaction, really get some of your thoughts and, um, and, and really have these as a, as a talking point as well. Uh, so yeah, Slido's in the chats, the code to join is on there too. Um, and uh, I'll, I'll launch some of uh, those things now in a second. So, so yeah, the Agile 20 Reflect Festival. Um, we'll, uh, we'll get to there in a second, but let's th that's, that's have that, uh, Let's have that check in on, um, on Slido. Uh, make sure you just can all get in. And uh, you should be able to see the, the code as well on, on the screen. Maybe you want to take a, a photograph of the, of the digital code. Um, but yeah, when you get on there, you know, Agile 20 Reflect as a festival uh, for, for a specific reason. Um, but I'm really keen to understand what has been your best festival experience or, or, or party experience and maybe that's a food festival maybe it's you know a, a drinks festival a music festival a comedy festival maybe it's a new year's eve festival um but but what's been your best festival experience uh the festival i think this is the the music festival i've been there as well it's pretty cool Edinburgh Fringe, yep. Oh, ah, I like it. The Agile Leaders and Management Meetup, meet yeah. Amphi Festival, I've not been there. My workplace, but all that. Wellbeing Festival, and that was really, ah. I'd be actually quite keen to, to know more about that one as well. 80s Music Revival, excellent. I'm really just trying to get a list of uh, festivals for uh, for myself that I can attend when when the lockdown lifts. Um, that, that's the real motive for this. Calibur, Cannibal, cool. Right. Perfect. Yeah. So 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 what is this festival? Um, and and Richard really alluded to this, it's, it's to help um, really focus uh, and, and celebrate the, you know, 20 years since uh, the Agile Manifesto uh, was created. And it's, it's going to be, you know, the first global community led festival really. And what's really important about it is that it's not a conference. And it's interesting somebody have actually put up uh, Edinburgh Fringe Festival there. It's really sort of based around that concept where a lot of people land in Edinburgh um, to come and view different comedy and, and different arts. Um, there's there's a whole schedule, you just go and pick and choose and, and, and you really find your own way through the festival and uh, you often uh, find a lot of uh, really unique um, and interesting um, arts that you, that you would never have seen before. 
and, and, and hopefully that's what we can create with this festival um, where we start to surface this thing globally. And so, yeah, so if, if, if you want to be part of this and you're cold badging it with us, this is something that we advertise um, in terms of your events or your activity within our central program. And uh, that's something we can explore later too, if you'd like. Um, the other part of this is that we want to maintain, you know, like a copy of all these events or, or any research that, that's being shared. So that's people that maybe aren't able to attend or, or maybe if you want to watch back this in, in the future or, or look at it from a research point of view, it's, it's really going to be there, uh, be free and accessible. So it's, it's a simple idea, really. Um, just be creative and uh, share your passion. And um, yeah, of course, it's, it's global. And uh, yeah, we sort of touched on why we're celebrating it, but what we really want to focus in on too is the past, the current, and the future of Agile and, and the Agile communities. Um, so in, uh, in sharing this, um, and we'll, we'll not touch on the principles just yet. I, I'm really keen, Jack, you know, whenever you heard that it was a festival, because this is the thing that really, I suppose, grabbed me that it was a festival. What, what did you think about it uh, in, in that context? It wasn't another conference that was going to try and sell something. It's a festival. It's, you know, it's about curiosity, collaboration. Most of all, it's fun. It's a month long session, bringing everyone from all the world, and we'll touch on that later on, people from all the world coming together to effectively create these events holistically. And really just, yeah, that was extremely exciting for me rather than being, I think when everyone, when you first speak about it, you think, oh, okay, it's a conference. So what day is it? Who do you want me to speak? all those sort of things, questions start coming out and it's actually, no, it's not, it's a month long festival. Mm. Yeah, the, 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 the whole of February, uh, which is pretty cool. And that's really cool to start to see that, that program, uh, you, know, you know, follow up. Um, I suppose if I was, I was to ask you a similar question, Mimi, um, uh, you, you're new to the, the group of ambassadors. Whenever you heard that it was a festival, what, what, what were the sort of things that, were, that, that you were thinking about? So when I, when I saw it was a festival, I was looking for dates. I was looking for like, you know, normally, at, normally festivals even are short, like maybe a couple of days or something. So when I saw it was a whole month, I was like, whoa, it's kind of like, how much content are you planning to create to be able to fill out the whole month? But then when you think about Agile, you, you kind of, I don't know, it's, when you think about Agile, it's something that's really broad. There's so many different ways to do it, even though the, set, the, the principles are the same. Everyone's interpretation of it is different. And it just sounded like such an amazing um, idea to have so many different community-led events and then also bringing it all together as well and spreading it out. So it gives many people who wouldn't ordinarily have an opportunity to uh, maybe speak about um their experiences with agile or um who wouldn't have the opportunity to maybe go to an event they've got a whole month to choose different types of events to go to so yeah it, it sounded like a crazy idea but um it made me excited to know that there is enough of an interest around it that we could make it a whole month long event and we'd still be able to get like you know a lot of value out of it mm. It is kind of a crazy idea, but I think this is how all good ideas start. Uh, it, it, it might sound crazy, but then um, it, it starts to uh, take shape. Um, yeah, and uh, and kind of the same in terms of you know you, you see agile popping up in, in loads of different guises, and uh, I'm actually quite interested to know a bit more about the Mary Poppins of, of agile. Uh, it's maybe a conversation o over a beer sometime. Um, Cool. So, Mercy, I, I suppose I'll probably ask you the exact same question. Um, you know, whenever you heard it was a festival, what, what did that mean to you? I didn't even know what it meant. <laughs> ah. Honestly, I didn't. But because I'm just a curious animal, yeah, I'm always open to learning. I'm always curious about something different, and I always look for opportunity to add value. I saw the form. I couldn't make sense of the form because it was sent to me. I had to get the person to send it. 
to explain the form to me. I felt it was discombobulated. Like, what are they talking about? But one thing that stood out for me on the form was, it doesn't matter your experience. It doesn't matter what you know. You could learn. I mean, you could add value and you'll be taught throughout um, uh, the process. So I think that was indeed powerful for me. I remember my first meeting with the trustees. I can't remember who said this. Mercy, welcome to a chaotic place. A group of crazy people. But I want to say that this is one of the best decisions I could have taken ever. You know, we're talking about the stages from being an innovator to being an early adopter. You know, I, I've seen Agile embodied with this group of people just because I took that uh, plunge. Like, go add value because that's what drives me. And... Um, I think that's just indeed a powerful thing that propelled me to being agile. When I applied, I wasn't, I didn't get a response immediately. I was like, what's going on? Scott sent me a message, but indeed, I think he was just overwhelmed with a lot of stuff. Eventually got back to me, but it's been a beautiful journey. And the amount of work that I've done is crazy. I keep asking, I don't know how I do it, but I want to say it's been amazing experience meeting people different race different background their cultural differences i mean i think this is the best thing that could ever happen to the agile community thank you yeah th th thanks for your, your your response to you and um that, that, that you know 100 resonates with me that this has been a huge learning experience as well uh, being part of something like this and the the human aspect of it, getting to meet people from all across the world, and 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 and, and hearing you know their different experiences and where they come from, and 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 how they're starting to see the, the different events and different styles of events uh, emerge. Okay, I'm just just checking. There's no questions at the moment, so I'll I suppose we'll, we'll touch through sort of the principles. We've sort of talked about the you know what is it and you know why are we doing it. Um, so suppose we can talk a wee bit about the how now, and I'll, uh, yeah, we don't have any questions. So I'll just, I'll go back to the screen share. And yeah. So yeah, the how, um, and th th this is something else that really grabbed me, that the festival is based on principles, and, uh, and I really like this concept. Uh, it's, it's got a clear vision, but, but there's these guiding principles, and uh, and, and, and they really want to guide us to be able to, to celebrate, you know, those 20 years of, of the Agile manif uh, Manifesto and, and, you know, look back, look where we're at now and, and, and look forward. And, you know, th these these principles, you know, the first ones are around it being a distributed e ecosystem, you know, so, so that idea of it's, it's not a conference, it's an ecosystem and, and it's an ecosystem having a party. Uh, and it's not anything that's really centrally run. And, um, you know, to, to, to be a testament to this, this has really been quite an autonomous ecosystem as well as, as being distributed. So that's principle one, number one, you know, a distributed ecosystem. The second one is that it's free to everyone. And, and, and again, what a great principle. So this is a huge free festival of events, um, you know, and, and different activities throughout the whole uh, February next year. Uh, it's created, you know, locally um, by local groups and organizations across the, the globe. So, you know, two, two really, really strong principles to, to start it off. Um, yeah, everything's locally created and it, it's, it's globally connected uh, by ambassadors across the, the, the globe who are engaging different, different communities, different organizations, you know, different people. And uh, yeah, I, I, again, you know, really, really strong to being able to build, build those bridges um, and like Mercy says I, I, I do believe it's, it's, it's definitely one of the most exciting things that's, that I've seen in, in the Agile community space um, and you know the next, the, the next principle that we sort of talked about it, uh, at the start is that accessible and inclusive program di directory so we're going to have that um, you know the listing of all the events, the speakers the topics um, and, and this is going to be available to everyone to navigate and find their own way throughout the festival. Uh, the next couple of principles that we've got is that it's community funded. So this is really being created 
you know, by the, the, the community. Um, it's, it's not funded by any money. It's, it's funded really by our, our time, our passion, our energy, our excitement, so, you know, our willingness to connect and, uh, and share our learnings and, 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 and see where that goes. Uh, next principle is that it's, 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 it's volunteer speaker powered. So we have a whole list of different speakers, which, which we'll touch, touch on later. Um, and it's not just, you know, your usual suspects, it's, it's, it's the newcomers, it's, it's, and that's, you know, everyone in between. So it's, you know, bringing those new voices and new ideas, as well as uh, learning from, you know, the, the, the what, what's been here before and, and, and the people that are, that, that, that are, the, I suppose, the veterans of the, of um of agile and i suppose just to wrap this up the final two uh, principles is uh around you know that self-navigation building your own experience and those long-lasting friendships and you know the long-lasting friendship one for me is, is is really key that i love building these relationships i love meeting new people love getting they don't really understand what they're what, what they're about and, and, and what's what excites them about agile um, so yeah, I'll, I'll I'll stop there on the principles, and um, I'll uh, or actually I suppose we can get up the Slido uh, very quickly, um, and, and have that active. So you know, just in going through those principles, what's really resonated with you, um, and I'll keep that active, but I'll I'll, I'll close the screen share, and um, yeah, keen to hear you from Mercy, I suppose. Um, out of all these principles, which has been the one that stood out for you, resonated the most? Messi, you're on mute. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> I thought you were just thinking. I, my apologies. No, yeah. I was busy doing the Slido because it's off oh, here. My apologies, Ed. <laughs> yeah. I was busy taking yeah. the Slidos away. Yeah. Okay, which of these principles stands out to me? Mm. Thank God it's actually open. Number one, the distributed team. I've seen that it's possible. Mm. We have um, Suraj is uh, in it. It's um, probably 1 a.m. For him right now, I'm in Nigeria. It's um, 7:30. We have Anurag, had teams in Australia. We have people that have joined from just across the globe. So I think the distributor team is very powerful for me. I don't know how many I'm supposed to choose. How many? Or just what? Uh, yeah, one's <laughs> one's fine. Um, on, on, unless you want to go, okay. go go for seconds. Uh, but yeah, I mean, for me, the same, you know, we talk about distributed teams and agile and that whole idea of face-to-face -face and stuff like that. Um, I've really seen the power of, of how distributed, you know, working can actually be successful. And you know, even though it does have its challenges, but um, it's been really impressive how that's worked with the, with the festival. Jack, what about you? What's, what, what principle has been resonating most for you? For me, and this is actually something I've had discussions with some of the organisers about, uh, just because it, there was a little nuance on the website, but for me, it has to be free for everyone. The mm. idea that, you know, I think, and especially in the agile community, actually, it's, it can be quite bad for it all of actually putting everything behind paywalls. Everything has to be paid, funded, paid for, but you to actually just learn. It's a basic right that people have, and you should be able to learn. And the idea that it is free to everyone, and it will be free to everyone for everyone, forever, effectively. So all that artifacts, all the material will be put there for free. And some of the people, will, we'll get onto some of the speakers and some of the people involved, but these people could write for the charge. So there's organizations involved to do charge for learning, but they've came in and they've bought into this idea that it's free. It's a free learning thing. It's for everyone to build from whether or not it's the first time you've ever heard of Agile, so you're an Agile expert. You get to expand your learning and really just see something grow. And for me, that's massive, whether it be from the local groups, especially after the year that we've had, and the people, you know, the, the job market, everything that's going on in the world, to make sure it was free, I think, was one of the most powerful ones for me. One of the reasons I really got involved when I was seeing the principles, that was one of the ones I said that, you know, that uh, will any of these principles change? If there's any that will change, if that one changes, then I'd need to probably rethink my, <laughs> my commitment to it. And that's just a personal thing, because I just think, you know, it's so important for me that it's, it's great to have paid learning, but also to allow this to be free for everyone is, is incredible. 
Mm, it's good to have a bit of both. But yeah, I, I, I agree with you too. It's if you think about something this size across the globe and, and it being free, that's it, it's really cool. Um, really, really cool. Right, Mimi, I'll, I'll, I'll ask you as well, which, which, which of these nine principles has, has resonated most with you? I think for me, it's actually the volunteer speaker powers. Um, mm. I think there's, so, there's something so powerful about hearing people's stories. Everybody has come into Agile in a different way. And, you know, when it comes to careers or, you know, um, journeys, sometimes we can get we can get boxed in by this cookie cutter journey. If you want to get to point B, you have to go through these steps. But I feel like with having so many people come in and it's like a completely voluntary, I think we're going to hear a whole lot more stories and it's going to allow Agile to be a whole lot more accessible than it ever has been. Um, and I feel that Agile is always, well, for me anyways, Agile has been really accessible for me and it's opened a lot of doors for me. And there are so many people out there who don't understand how doors could be open for them. You know, how do you get your experience? Um, what skills can you bring from your past life that you can take into, you know, your agile journey with you? Um, mm. Ways that you can impact people, whether you are in a coaching position or whether you are just interacting with agile in your day-to-day -day work in life. All of these stories are now about to be brought to life. And I think for me, that's why that's the most um, important um principle of this festival festival for me mm. i like that one too I, f I find it hard to choose like i went with that long lasting friendship one but you know i i, I agree with you you know creating that space for the for the new the the, the, the newer voices the um you know the, the, maybe the quieter voices that you know they often say the person you know that doesn't speak often but when they do speak you should probably listen you know th these are hopefully the voices that we're going to start to hear as, as as well perfect um let's check uh yeah it's, let's see am i sharing the right screen yeah and I don't, I, I don't pay anybody to, to vote for, for my favorite one, but it's somehow I ended up uh, at the top. So yeah, it's, it's interesting to see the sort of spread just from the small community, the ones that have resonated the most. You, Shane, you sure not, not cheating. You saw that out there. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, honestly, God, I didn't, it's, it's, it's not a fix. Um, maybe, I, maybe I planted the seed or maybe we can start this way at now. I've just seen a change. Yeah, it's beautiful. Um, I managed somehow to break your system. I thought I love all of them and I started checking them without, and then the system said, no, you, you chose so many. Yeah. Your, your, your answers were brilliant. I kind of, I kind of constrained it. I'd, I gave people three, yeah, three that they could choose. Um, so yeah, perfect. Uh, cool. So so we've sort of talked a wee bit about the how the, you know the principles that are that are guiding us on this journey, and um, yeah, that, that that's here a wee bit about the patrons, and uh, I'll, I'll let I'll let Jack uh, take you through that. Thank you very much. And so you know, uh, the Agile Manifesto, of course, was 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 signed by lots of key leading figures within the Agile world, or before the Agile software development world at the time. And as Agile 20 Festival started to grow, and it's of course 20 years into the future from there, we started to think, well, who are the leading figures in the Agile community now that we could ask to be patrons? And they can be people that come to us that, that, that are part of it. And just on the screen there, you can see some of our patrons. So we've got, I'll, I'll just run through them very quickly. Um, Ari Van ben Benekum, who is uh, one of the authors of the Agile Manifesto, one of the original people that was involved in Agile Manifesto. We've got Jana Rothman, author of 18 books in Pragmatic Product and Agile Management. We've got Alistair Colburn, of course, one of the co-authors and signatories of the Ma Manifesto, creator of Crystal and Heart of Agile, which me and Shane, of course, are very familiar with and um, through our meetup activities. Uh, the fabulous Esther Derby, leading author and thought leader in organisational change. We've got one of my favourites, Simon Wardley, who does Wardley Maps, created Wardley Map, along other things, almost as a thought lord, as he calls himself, but an absolutely incredible genius in that field. We've got Lisa Atkins, 
uh, you know, leading agile and coaching author and founder of 10 Women Strong. So, you know, an organization that's trying to look at bringing more women into leadership roles within the agile world. Peter Merrill is the CEO of Xscale, so a leading person, one of the one of the leading agile people, thought leaders in Australia, and also one of the real key people in forming the Agile Alliance. April Jefferson is coach, facilitator, and co-creator of Tabby Game, co-founder of Future of Work 24 Hour Global Gathering, and a woman in Agile. So again, another real lots of really strong new voices, new um, people into the Agile community. Also got Sally Elata, who is a transformer by nature, and she's also one of the founding founding people of Sudan Next Gen, which is looking at really trying to drive change in Sudan um, and leapfrog in the future, driven by young people and women. And then we've got Roman Pitcher, again, another one of my favorites is, you know, a leading author and thought leader in product management and has lots of incredible books on the subject. So we've got a real, real mix there of 10 um, patrons that we've got. And one of the things that I'm really proud of looking at that is, you know, the diversity that is in, in and around that. As we move over there and we've got speakers and one of the key things that I think is absolutely incredible, we've already got 200 speakers signed up. Now we'll come to events in a minute and we don't have 200 events at this moment in time. Hopefully the ALM meetup will be another one of those events going forward, but we've got 200 speakers signed up from 30, over 35 countries across the globe. It's incredible to think of all the people that have volunteered to speak and to talk at things. And yes, we have some of the incredible I'd like to call them legends of Agile. You know, we've got your Luke Hoffman, you've got Lisa Atkins, Jeff Watts, Gabrielle Benefield, but we've also got some of our very own. We've got Mercy, of course, is up there on the top middle as she's going to speak. We've got a, a personal friend of mine, Tony Christensen. We've got some incredible speakers there. And like I said, over 200 across, and we've got a list, a massive list of all these speakers who are from all parts of the globe, over 35 countries. And they've also got just different levels of experience as Mimi was touching on earlier they've all got their own story to tell whether they've been there for 20 years like someone like Luke Hoffman or whether they're very 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 new to Agile like some of those people in that little image there. And coming on to the events and as you can see these are just a handful of the events that we've got signed up and we're, we're hoping we'll get lots lots more in the near future but the one thing just to call out straight away is they're, they're scattered everywhere, it's distributed. Now obviously we'd love to see so much more in places like Asia and places like, places like South America and Africa as well, but we've already started to get lots of incredible events. So from you know the snowboard event from Scrum Alliance, which is going to really celebrate the 20 year anniversary, Lena and Agile on the DMV, so a real practical view of how the DMV has used Lena and Agile to really transform. We've got someone on the call today, Saf, Saf's very own session, The Future of Agile, where next, and that's an incredible panel discussion with some of the leading experts across the Agile community. We've got uh, Dean Leffingwell speaking at a SAFE Summit, the journey from Waterfall RUP Lean Agile to SAFE, and it's an incredible story of how they've moved in from Waterfall all the way into using SAFE. We've then got Mercy, who's on the call, looking at agility in government. So not only talking about Agile and the theory behind Agile and some of the things that's helped, but actually how are we using agility in government how can we fix countries' problems using agility? I think we can all see some of the problems across the world that governments face right now. How could some of the agile practices, agile principles actually help trying to solve some of these problems? And then down the right-hand side, of course, we've got you know, the context behind the manifestos and building high performance in the center of excellence. We've got a vast, vast size of events that are coming in and they're just going to keep building and keep building. And we're hoping that we'll have all of our speakers will be in events all across the globe. But there's sort of enough, so we've talked a little bit about that, but what I'd really like to hear from you and what we'd probably like to talk about as a panel is, what are some of the, who would you like to see? So we'll talk a little, and I, don't get me wrong, I said there's over 200 speakers, it might be every single person, but who would you like to see at this community talk? Now me personally, I'd love to hear new voices. I've heard lots of great people. I've heard Jeff Watts speak. I've heard Roman Pitchler speak. I've heard Alistair Coburn speak. They're incredible. They're inspirational. But they, I'm not saying they were the past. That would sound very wrong. But what I'm saying is they knew what they were talking about and they're going forward. But who's the, who is the future? So that's for me, you know, 
who have you worked with possibly that might be agile but don't realize it yet how could we get those voices heard how could we get those people involved and really look to see it like richard rich and sabrina awesome colin bird i don't know who that is but i would love to hear them these are the sort of voices of course jeff watts as well yeah and we've got jeff watts there and um, and real people with new stories and i think that's the key thing we're talking about some of the people who have been around for so long and they're, they're talking about organisational level stuff. But who are the people working in the teams? Who are the people working in um, communities around the world that are helping bring Agile to those communities? Of course, someone on the call very much now might be getting volunteered or maybe you're volunteering yourself, possibly. And I'd like to probably say, Shane, who would, you, who would be the one person you're looking forward to hearing most? Sorry, I, I just had to come off mute there. I, I was actually really trying to rack my, you know, my brain to, to think about who I want to hear. And I, I probably can't identify this person, but I'm really keen to hear people talk about uh, Agile in education or, or, or someone that's, that's, that, that's maybe in that space that's, that's either an educator and, and they've heard about Agile and they're trying to introduce that and they how they approach education or whether it's actual you know people actually applying it on education at the minute so that i'm going to give you two answers so i, I don't know who that person is um but the other person i'd love to really hear talk is as uh lindsay talk um and, and really it's it's you know the, the passion and, and the experience and understanding that she's got about communities um i, I, th I think yeah, I, I'd like to hear her um, talk at, uh, at the festival. Yeah, that, that's incredible, Shane. Yeah, I'm mm. a big fan. I'd love to see more of the agile and education as well. Yeah, Mimi, who, if I could ask you, who would you love to hear from? Um, it might sound a little bit cliche, but my manager at work, because I'm an agile lead. Um, I'm an agile lead at Smart Pension. And I absolutely love my job. I absolutely love my team. And my manager has done really well to foster this sense of, I don't know, we're like a little family within the organization. And then we work with our individual teams. So I would love for him to kind of talk about how he was able to, to create that, how he was able to kind of create that safe space so that you know we could all feel free to be our best at work because there's a lot of organizations that are not able to do that for one reason or another um like how did he get the buy-in and all that kind of stuff to be able to bring that in i think there's a lot of companies out there or a lot of teams out there who could benefit from hearing you know how to how to cultivate that sense of agility by creating teams that are allowed to be agile in a sense so yeah i might actually speak to him at work tomorrow <laughs> and say look there's this festival happening in february why don't you speak and talk to talk about it but yeah this is a good question i never really thought of who exactly i'd want to hear from but yeah i think i might talk to him now <laughs> i, I kind of want to want to hear his story as well <laughs> yeah you, you can do better than that maybe you can say here's this agile festival going on and i know someone on the inside <laughs> I, can, I, can, I, can get, yeah. I can get you in with some brownie points, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Nancy, who, who would be your one person you'd love to hear from? Um, who would be my number one? I'll just use my business as a startup because one of the goals for Lento was to make sure I am agile, not be agile, you know? I would like, I like to hear speak. I'd like to see Yabo. She's one of my teammates. I'd like to hear Deji. They are not agilists. Um, Deji, for instance, is a Microsoft most valuable professional. Is uh, a coder, the gig, you know, but he has one of the most brilliant mindset to agility, and was very open to learning. 
I'd like to see, I'm very intense, by the way. <laughs> I work like a robot. And, um, and I'm very, my threshold for irritation is like this, is non-existent. So, and I can smell BS from afar. I'd like to hear one of my key person, Adekunle Talabi, speak. The guy is phenomenal. He's under a lot of pressure, right? You would never know is deflecting and exuding because his mindset is purely originally agile. He's an agile coach. He's just an incredible human being. One thing that have, has happened to me on the Agile 20 Reflect is the fact that it's not the same recycled leaders, thought leaders that keep speaking. I've interviewed incredible people and the success rates, I mean, I remember speaking to um, one per, uh, a group in South America and the kind of achievement they recorded is unprecedented, honestly. So for me, new voices, just because their story is organic, just because their process is organic, they've been able to weather the storms without having the resources, just like Lentor, you know? not having people believe in what you do just because you know you want to add value and you want to serve people which is what drives you the people i'd like to see speak are my team because they've made my job so seamless so easy because of their mindset and i i truly believe that we need to hear more stories like that so people can relate and get um, the adoption uh, of the mindset that's what i think i don't know i don't i'm not very big on names but i like what mimi said and i told the path i love that i love that and yeah and there seems to be quite a common theme here of you know there's so many thought leaders but we'd love to hear some new voices and you know i think that's incredible bringing out some new people and actually seeing you know as mimi said people in south america how are they applying agile Culturally, how do they apply Agile compared to what we do in the UK? Probably massively different, I would expect, but we don't know unless we hear those people speak. Can I just, right. I just wanted to jump in and say one more person. Someone came to mind that I really wish I'd said before, and it's Scrum Daddy. So I don't know if you've heard of him. Has anyone heard of him? So, I've okay, heard, yeah. Okay. Scrum Daddy is my mentor, and he's if you've never heard of agile and you have no idea what it is and he explains it to you his ex his infectious excitement you'll you'll get on it you'll get on the boat and you won't question it because he's so his passion his drive everything the way he explains things the way he can bring um the way he can tell stories to explain agility and things like that honestly he's definitely one person i would love to hear at the festival like is that He's an ambassador. He's a oh, West is he? African ambassador. He signed I up. Yeah, I saw okay. it today. <laughs> okay, then, then there we go. He's probably going to speak. And honestly, he's amazing. Definitely amazing. <laughs> yeah, oh, uh, Jack. I just noticed uh, Michael in the comments. It says, you know, that he would love to hear more from the recipients of the change not their headline bosses and leaders, but you know, the people actually developing and delivering the products, the successes and the failures. So, the, you know, even just listening to what, you know, Mercy was saying, uh, you know, hearing a team talk about their experience with Agile would be really cool. I, I don't know if you want to build on that, Michael. Uh, well, yeah, I'd love to. I, I think that um, we talk about retrospectives and, and talking about positives and learning also what we're going to improve. And, you know, getting um, a retrospective that was a collection of people who've been through an agile change and getting them to talk about things that went really well and things that didn't go well and how they sought to improve those things, I think would be really informative for people who are on a journey, you know, so they can, one, know they're not the only people experience success and failure. Secondly, that, um, you know, following a, a particular rote method of agile is not always the way you deliver the most uh, agile solution and um and finally i think that it's sort of we need a bit more focus on the cultural part of it you know what that means why how people interact 
what are their profiles what are their proclivities what are their in where do they want you know one of the things that i'm trying to work on at the moment is where do people in teams have impact and um you know that that is really you know someone who's a strategist doesn't mean they're an ideas person someone who's an ideas person doesn't mean they're good at implementation and one of the the challenges we have around agile teams is that they're generally doing a lot of implementation and there will be people who are in there not contributing as much as they could because they prefer to polish stuff or they prefer to um uh, they, they prefer to be more strategic in their thinking so these are things that we sort of have overlooked i think in roles you know we kept a very simple role structure but there are lots of things i think we can learn by doing a retrospective with people who are at the coal face rather than you know all the great and wonderful people that we know um of which you've mentioned several I uh I really like this idea. If, if I heard you right, it's almost like a live retrospective as an event. Yes. Um, about a, a transformation. Yeah, I think that'd be really cool, and I, I mean, it it fits into um, the, the the theme of the festival as well. Um, yeah, I like that. I I, I think uh, we're we're kind of get that point of the session where we want to think about events, um, and and really capture those ideas. Uh, so, so do, do we want to more than happy to, to to run something like that if that if that's what you want to do I, i'd uh, um, but you know it, it's over to you guys and whether you want me to uh, think about doing that for you michael i'm going to invite you to do a live <laughs> retrospective on my team right would you would you do the honors because i i'd like to take opportunities yeah i'd, like, I'd love to do that um awesome. I think the, question, the question is what i What's key to me on this, um, Mercy, is that I want to get clients, you know, people who, you know, I'm not saying that your retrospective wouldn't be useful. I'm just saying that, you know, we hear about banks and we, of which several of you've got experience. Um, we hear about um, uh, insurance companies of which I have lots of experience who have done agile uh, change or, you know, retailers or, you know, there's a whole group of people obviously and we don't often talk to the sort of the project manager or mm -hmm. the product director or the um you know the, the head of programming or the or the head of development or the head of apps or the head of you know these people are sort of you know you see the cto will wander in or the cia will wander in give a talk and you'll go god bloody amazing aren't they great well they're in the business of promoting how good they are they're not in the business of retrospectively going through things that were a challenge and things that were good as well. So that's why I think using the term retrospective um, is one, politically acceptable, um, and two, uh, is much easier for people to relate to in terms of this is going to be a session about talking about challenges that we faced. And I think it's a, a new one to do a group sort of like a group hug retrospective rather than everybody just talking about their particular product or project or program that would be amazing add me to the list <laughs> yeah. I, I love the idea you got there michael um i think it's something that um we need to discuss yes yeah? yeah. um, let's definitely put that down how, how we how we're going to make it work um, do, do you need people from different organizations to actually mm -hmm come forward to be part of it rather than having it as an open thing. We can have it as an open thing still, but have specifically certain people in, uh, requested in. Is that what you're, you're thinking of? Yes, yeah, so I, I think uh, bearing in mind retrospectives are for the team, uh, you therefore need to create a team. And they need to get, I think, ideally they need to get comfortable with each other. I, I, I don't say we bring in a group of people who already know each other, you know, we can go into the bank or insurance circles and just find that, you know, a dozen people who know or half a dozen people who know each other. Uh, I'm thinking, so I think we do need to mould the team uh, that are going to be the retrospective. Um, but I don't want to mould the content. Uh, you know, the rules, absolutely, what you will and will not talk about, I think they need to be established. But but I, I don't want people, I don't want it to be a rehearsed retrospective. I think that would completely ruin the whole principle of retrospectives. So if we're going to do one, let's do one with people that we know will contribute. And yes, uh, that, that would be what I would, um, what I would suggest. 
Okay, so I, I, I think we, we can probably find uh, people from at least a minimum of three to four uh, financial institutions. We're talking yeah. about them uh, just with people on this this call here. Um, and the, the right kind of people, not just the agilists, but the, like you're saying, the people doing the work. Yes. Um, and I'm sure there's there's a lot more than that we can do. So definitely, yeah. Yeah. So th th there's a guy I know who who is an agile person, but he's been in lots of different places all over the UK. For example, a guy called Siraj uh, Mohamed, and you know I don't see him talk enough, and he really is a smart, agile person, uh, and he gets. You know, he, he's someone who I would put forward because he, he's a new face. You don't see him all the time, um, and um, yeah. So I, and and he's definitely done stuff at uh, registrars of Scotland and all that sort of stuff. So yeah, yeah. That's just amazing. And the truth of the matter for me, if you don't mind, if I jump in, I'm straight, um, Richard. I think it would be a great lesson. Yes. It would be a great lesson for a lot of organisation that probably are doing retro wrong. And I love the fact that it shouldn't be rehearsed so that there's great lesson learning there. I think this is an incredible idea. I think it speaks to the core value of what Agile 20 Reflex is all about. Yeah, I think absolutely incredible. And it, it, it's talking, about, you know, it, it's great. And it's actually just popped into my head the idea that, you know, people are inflicted with change almost. We come in and, guys, this team, you're going to be agile now. But you know, what did that mean for them? What was the effect of that? I think that's that's part of what you're building on. But I think we'd, we'd like to hear more possible events. I think if Shane can bring up the slide oh, again, we've got, another, got one last question. Oh, two last questions, sorry. Not one last question. Um, one, two questions left. This is the second last one, or the penultimate one. What would be one topic? So. Mike, I think that's an absolutely fantastic topic and we've talked about that. What are some other people's thoughts of topics? So we've got um, TLC or theory, theory of Constraints up there. Love that one. Love Mr. Char Clark Ching. He's actually not signed up yet, so you could you could coax him into signing up and to do a little Theory of Constraints one. Psych psychological Safety is another absolutely awesome, awesome one. Do you, do you want people to add, Jack? Because psychological safety is, for example, um, we do a lot of uh, we do a lot of that in our practice. You know, we take people through the understanding of, of initially inclusion, and we also wrap it clearly into diversity and, and equality. But um, you know, it, it's a basic four-step model that you, is very easy to talk people through. I think people get a bit scared of what psychological safety is. We use um, some principles that are published by a guy called um, know, what's his name, uh, Timothy Clark. In uh, he calls it four stages of psychological safety. Um, you know, I'm not a speaker for him. It's just a very simple idea of understanding inclusion. You then go through learning. You then go through uh, contribution, and then you go on to challenge. And those four steps, you can see how aligned they are with a with an agile uh, approach. You know, certainly the initial learning process then you know you take people through on a journey of then saying okay well now you need to contribute and finally you know as you become very strong as a team you can challenge each other and create the psychological safety required to make you high performing i think that 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 sounds like an absolutely incredible topic i'd love to you know maybe we could get either someone from your organization or that uh, i couldn't catch the name that you said that created the four stage psychological safety uh, sort of I'll put it in chat. The guy's uh, the guy's written the model is originally a guy called Timothy Clark, but he's not saying anything that uh, that Amy hasn't said in the past or some of the others in psychological safety. Um, you know, he's um, he's very much uh, it, the thing I like about him is he laid he initially laid out a, a very simple model that just resonated from me from an agile perspective immediately, because you get them eventually with a good team, you get to challenge, but it's good positive challenge. It's a bit like the, the bottom parts of uh, the Lencioni model. And I don't want to go all academic on you because I'm not, but if you look at that, th those things come together very nicely. And in terms of the dynamic of, of humans in the agile space, uh, sorry, in a space where agile is being applied, psychological safety uh, is an absolute critical 
key to getting uh, high performing teams. Otherwise, you've just got uh, a functioning group. I completely, I completely agree, and I've seen how it goes wrong when there's a lack of psychological safety. Now, that's an absolutely great one, Michael. If you could put that in the chat, that would be awesome. Yeah, sure. Also, got some core protocols, leadership, well-being, and agile. The live retrospective, of course, that Michael suggested are all absolutely great things. Guys, we're at three past seven. I think we'll probably just move on to the next couple of things and then we can open up for a wider conversation um, just in case anyone has to drop off in the near future. So we've talked a lot about you know, the why, the what, but what about the how? How can you get involved? So we've got a really nice model and Saf earlier on said to me he's not, he's not sure that it's his best work, but it's one that we're running with and I definitely love it. But we've got this idea of shape. So you can get involved in lots of different ways. You can speak. So we're talking a lot about lots of speakers we've got on. You can host an event. So of course, we're, we're reaching out to local communities, to organizations, to host events. You can personally host an event if you would like as well. It's just obviously we've got lots of communities and organizations looking to host. You can attend, and that's one of the key things. We just want people to attend. And that's probably one of the, the key things of trying to get people involved. People can attend the sessions. They can attend one, they can attend them all. I'm hoping by the end, of, by the start of February, we've got too many for anyone to attend every one of them, but they'll all be recorded, or at least should all be recorded, hopefully. And that would be amazing. Then we've got promote, and you'll see lots of things on social media. You can follow us on social media. You can promote events on social media. You can promote Agile 20, promote, sorry, Agile 20 on social media, but really making it global pushing out to all of your network. If I say to three people about it, they say to three people, they say to three people, you get the drift. It's just going to consistently grow and expand. And the last one is enliven. So don't just attend. Come and really be part of it. Get involved. Look at look at Mercy, you know, of the background. That sort of thing is what we're talking about. Really enliven it. Make it something that we should be proud of. And in 20 years' time, we're looking back thinking, yeah, we might not have been part of the Agile Manifesto, which is now 40 years ago, but we we're certainly part of Agile 20 Reflect. And that was just as big. At least I'm, a, I'm hoping it's just as big. And before we sort of close off, I'd probably just like to say, you know, Mercy, Shane, or Mimi, how, which ways are you getting involved? Let Mimi go first, because I could take the whole day. <laughs> Um, so I'm definitely down for promoting. Um, one of the things that um, I've realised this year is that a lot of people don't realise how many opportunities are available within the agile space, within technology as a whole. And so I feel like I'd be, I'd be doing a disservice if I didn't promote an event like this that is supposed to be open for everybody. Um, I don't know yet if I'm going to be speaking, <laughs> but I'll definitely, definitely be attending and promoting. I know for a fact I'll be doing those two things. And so um, being an ambassador as well is, is such a privilege to be a part of this. Just like you said, um, I couldn't have been a part of it when it started, but now I have the opportunity to be part of something that's, I guess, and again, it's going to sound cliche, but I feel like Agile has actually changed my life. Um, I was one that could never deal with ambiguity. I didn't like change, but understanding, you know, the empirical process and um, how we can benefit from it, how we can learn from it, it's kind of opened me up to be okay with change, okay with not knowing every tiny little variable. And I just hope that by promoting this, I'll be able to bring others along on the journey so they can open up their mind to other concepts as well, better ways of working. So. Yeah. <laughs> I think that's a story I'd love to hear, Mimi. Definitely a story I'd love to hear. So how am I getting involved? Number one, I am hosting. We have an event on the 20th and it's targeted at Nigerian students. Um, my team said, make it youth. So that is inclusive. So I had to change the word student to youth because um, like Mimi said, this is a career path that has no retirement age so long as you can adapt so long as you can add value so long as you can think and have the mindset of servant leadership although now based on the new agile um 
based on the new scrum um the oh god scrum guide i beg your pardon we are now uh, i can't what's the what's the word somebody help me i think we're now it's just a, leaders huh? it's not it's not just leaders now They're no 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 them. no you're still a, so you're now uh leader servants Le thank you so much leader servants right instead of servant leadership because there's been a lot of debate around it so i'm hosting an event we have i'm going to leverage on what michael said and add that as an event as well i'm sure people would like to hear my story uh, i'm attending i've promoted i've dragged as many people on board i'm 11 like um, i love what the fact that you use my background this is created an incredible amount of opportunity for learning for me personally i've got to hear someone like scott speak and michael speak I mean, with such brilliance, I've got to meet, I mean, and I'm adding so much value because I'm part of the digital marketing team. By the time I counted how many flyers that I've spooled out in like the space of three weeks is over 200 flyers. And it's just the beginning. We have February to go. So um, in any capacity that I find that I could add value, I jump on it. Although Sabrina pulls me back mercy take a break take a break so i've come to make lifelong friendship and thanks to that's what i'm doing anyway speaking hosting attending promoting and leaving yes that's it <laughs> i love it mercy and lastly but by no means least shame yeah i'm in a similar boat is mercy and i'm i'm touching on all, all all five of these these spaces uh but i started off as just being someone that was going to attend and uh and then started to share some of the, the content those scenes started to promote um obviously we're, we're part of heart of agile so we we're looking to host and uh th then i got my arm twisted to to speak um so so yeah that's it's been an interesting journey uh touching off all, all five of those uh, yeah thanks jack no I, you know one of the reason i wanted to bring that up was just you know there's so many ways to get involved and you can get involved as much or as little as you can actually you can commit to to an extent all you need to do is just a little bit of promotion share one link or even coming tonight is getting involved you're going to help the agile leaders and managers come up with something that they can host during Agile 20 Flip. And I'm hearing a couple of events and maybe even a couple of speakers coming out of tonight as well. And that's all we really had planned for this evening, but more than happy to open up to wider questions, conversation, debate. Thank you very much for that, guys. Um, righty then. So we've had quite a few conversations actually been going on in the background, which has been great. We've had some questions. Um, so that there was one right at the very beginning there from, from Surajit, <coughs> um, wanting to know how to find out who the ambassador was from India. I've responded to him. I've connected yeah. him. I'm sorting that out. Thanks, Mercy. Fantastic. You're welcome. Oh, and and I, I'm going to ask a, a direct question then related to that back to Surajit. Uh, I, I, have you found tonight you, informative and are you going to do something with it? What's your intent? Yes. Uh, so what I plan to do is uh, I plan to share this uh, with uh, some of the pas passionate agilists, uh, you know, with whom I've been, uh, you know, uh, uh, across the years. So, and I'm very, very sure that uh, not only me, but even they will not only find interest, but they will, uh, they would like to do something over here uh, out of, you know, all of the boxes that appeared some time back. So I've added a link if you want to contact and actually sure. do yeah. what we do, but that's for everybody. I mean, it, even if you don't do anything, the one thing you will get out of this is you will make amazing friends. You will have an opportunity to have a laugh and a giggle with people that have the same interests. You will learn something new every single day. Like Mercy says, I have to drag her back once in a while. She has to drag me back once in a while. 
but you create relationships and it's an opportunity to meet people all over the world, which you wouldn't normally have an opportunity. Yes, there's a large amount of people in the UK, but actually being able to meet people in Africa, um, in Australia, absolutely everywhere. So even if you take that opportunity, um, get involved. We are all busy. We all understand that. But the fun and the giggles and the people that you meet and the opportunities you have. Um, I had a dream that was created the other day for me. I got to interview my, the Roman Pitchler, who I, was, I am like a, a girl fan. And I had to explain to him before I had an opportunity to interview him and say, I will apologize. I need a moment because I'm going to be a giggly little schoolgirl here because I am a massive fan. I've been using his work and following him for years. And that opportunity came through doing the work with the Reflect 20 or Agile 20 Reflect. So yeah, even if you get a chance just to keep up to date with us, um, help promote us and even join in on the fun, I, I would fully recommend it. And uh, th thanks for uh, staying up so late. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much. This is one o'clock in the morning for Sue. Mm. Right? So dedication, kudos, fantastic. Thanks, Richard, uh, for introducing me to this community. And I'm sure, you know, uh, this is going to be a great festival. Yeah. Mm. Thank you. Oh, Mimi, you've got this covered. Stop, stop uh, hiding behind. It's scary. Nah, it's not. It's fun. <laughs> this is the only fun. And it's not a conference. I mean, can I just say something? Yeah. Um, this is Scott is very infectious, right? Scott had this brilliant idea for people. He didn't even know how he's going to map out. But one thing he did in the spirit of Agile was let people self-organize and come with your idea, whatever it is. It will allow you to express yourself, express what you have. I mean, the amount of work I've done is purely because Scott allowed me to be free and I think that's the problem that is missing with many organizations. You say you want to hire the best brains. You now command and control them. Then they, they, hide, they are unable to express. But what Agile 20 Reflect has done for me and for everyone, I'm a, I think I've been an Agilist all my life. I love to push for people. I love to serve people. But I'm equally very cautious because I know how vile the hearts of people are in terms of what you do could be misunderstood. But this is one festival. I've not been judged. I've not been called out. Rather, we have built an incredible ecosystem. I get calls from Sabrina Mercy, how are you doing? I've never met her before. She wrote, she wrote a post about me. She brought me to tears. I've never met her before. Scott gave me a, a recommendation that money cannot buy. And you know what that means. I can take that to the bank that I've been recommended by Scott Swivel. It's a big deal. And that's because I pulled my weight. I wasn't slacking around and just faffing around not doing the work. Um, I've learned so much just because I volunteered. And it has helped me to be able to put a lot of structures around Lentor. So that's what Agile 20 Reflect has done. It's never been done. I told Scott the other day, I said, we need to be going in for the Guinness Book of Record for one of the most self-organized, well-distributed team that have ever come together on the planet ever to come with one focus just to have fun because it's fun really anyway i can go on and on excuse me i'm too excited yeah you're you're, you're welcome mercy it's, it's lovely to listen to <laughs> oh. i love every time you get excited mercy there's like this explosion behind you of uh, agile time <laughs> re reflect <laughs> just yeah. really adds to it yeah. I, I, I i want to pull it back to a couple mm. of these thoughts where we are because I, I want to make sure we've got something for february uh so so michael your thoughts sounded fantastic are, are you wanting to explore that further i'll come off a of mute um 
Yeah, I'd, I'd love to. I think the one area that I could probably contribute best to, because it sits right in the middle of what I do, is the psychological safety thing. I'm more than happy to contribute and help set up retrospectives. Uh, I think there are probably others. Uh, it was an idea. Uh, I could do it, but I think uh, others are probably better skilled uh, at doing it because they're doing it all the time. Um, and I'm not. Uh, but if you want me to run it, I'm happy facilitation, to. enablement, etc., is what we can help with. I just want to quickly ask uh, Rich and Sabrina: Do you think um, Michael's idea is a fantastic idea? Do you think we can support Michael? Definitely. It is incredible idea. I know you didn't ask my opinion. <laughs> <It's just laughs> <a long time. laughs> Mike, I think you have the same problem that I have, and I never give myself credit. And I mean, with Sabrina and Mercy in here, there's no chance, right? You have to be raising your hand. But uh, Michael, that's, some credit, Mike. that's a great idea. It is, is brilliant in the sense that we go in looking back and saying, how can we do better? What's, what's the improvement from this? And given the perspective that we're saying is a, is a reflect, is a retrospective saying how we can do better, bringing uh, different views on this is very important. Something on that could be for me, even, even if you look at, at, at the landscape right now, you see a number of uh, all those uh, reports coming, state of agile report, set of DevOps, etc. If you look at that saying, what's the enemy number one of all this? Festival like this bring actually the reality into the ground and people getting self-organized is another way of, of expressing where, where the movement is going. So I think it's brilliant. Facilitation, definitely. I mean, everybody here is almost a facilitator in a way, but we definitely can support you. And uh, I was almost, uh, if Mercy was saying, was talking, I would have said, you heard it first in this meetup event. That's where it started. <laughs> definitely, let's follow up, Michael. We'll be behind you on that. We'll do that. I, I, I want to um, pull on, call on someone else now at the moment as well. Um, now, Debs and I had a, uh, a conversation uh, prior to this. Um, Debs, uh, uh, does your idea, your fantastic idea, do you think it's still a good idea and do you want to talk about it? Yeah, so I think our idea was, so, so my, my background has been, I've been the Agile Lead HTC since about 2012 um, in different areas. But then also the last four years, I've been the Diversity Inclusion Lead. Um, and myself and Rich were just thinking, would it be good to try and do some kind of talk around what does diversity mean in an agile world? Um, and I haven't, haven't pulled all my thoughts together on that, I'll be honest. <laughs> I need to think about it and put it all together. But, but yeah, could the two marry and could we do a good, a good topic on that for the February um, event? That's brilliant. I quite like that, Deborah. Very, very kind of fantastic perspective saying, how do we bring people different backgrounds, different cultures? How do we expect to respect people? I mean, it's one of the foundations of, you know, lean and it's uh, definitely uh, ex excellent kind of topic to, to cover. Um, there, I'm rich, I'm not gonna try and do it. I wanna be part of the team that is gonna work on this Michael's idea. I wanna be part of the team. Don't worry, Mercy, how can we miss you out? <laughs> <laughs> you I follow you you follow me love don't worry about it <laughs> I mean guys I'm with Sabrina and Mercy uh, on the marketing digital team okay I'm not doing as much but can you imagine how many ideas how, how, passion, how much passion is on that team it's just exciting really he adds he adds spice to your life it's been oh, don't forget Seth Seth Wade Mr. Orson Orsonness as well <laughs> I just love Seth. Every time I see Seth, doesn't matter what, he's going to be munching on something. It might be my perception, but he's always. You know, I, uh, to be honest, for me tonight, it's been really good because I've been, I've been talking about this stuff for literally months. So, you know, I've been, been involved from very early on. Scott and I are good friends, as most of you know. We've talked regularly about how this thing could become something amazing. And it's a little bit overwhelming to see what it, is starting to become um, and it's lovely just to sit here and actually listen to you all talking about it so you know I've kind of got to know Mercy through it and you know Mercy's highly energetic and she always makes me laugh <laughs> <laughs>
uh, and you know it, it really is bringing people together and you know we all use the virtual background you know, so I've seen my sort of interviews with some of the patrons and and I've been working across different work streams but it is somebody was talking earlier about doing an event but it's a, it, it truly is an incredible example of you know a global effort and you know people coming together from all corners and yeah I mean, I mean it's so much more yet to do but it's yeah I think I think we're doing something truly amazing here. There's, there's there's definitely something in this right there's where there's just a clear focus mm. a clear mission you know it's it's time bound you know fair enough but everybody's got the same focus same mission we're really just then being guided by principles and on, on, on that mission and i suppose it's a short a story to tell in itself and it'd be, it'd be great to see how others could you know do that and, and you think about some of the, the the problems of the world if you get a global effort like this to tackle some of those things it'd be yeah, exactly it'd be pretty cool what else could 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 we all be turning our energy to after February? Mm. Mm. well at the end of the day we're not salespeople, so the fact that we are that passionate about this shows that the product is a winner considering it's easily sold and we're not salespeople. no we're not selling things to you just to confirm <laughs> I, I just, I, I, just want to say this um, principle number ten on the Agile Manifesto. Simply, I thought you were going to add a new principle to the, the festival. <laughs> <laughs> simply, sorry, city, sorry, mercy. Yeah, yeah. Simply, city, the art of maximizing the amount of work not done is mm. essential. Then that is what um, I think the festival has actually spoken to. I remember Scott saying something. I came up with this idea of agile woman and agile man. And Scott said this to me, I think last month, and he said, Mercy, what COVID has done to a lot of people, what that action of them being celebrated publicly has done to them and being recognized that there's somebody's agile man and agile woman and the commendation that has come from it, it's like a huge success. I mean, we started off, we were on 400 and something on LinkedIn. Within a week, we shot up to 1,000 just because of that um, strategy. And we're launching another one next month anyway. I'm very excited about it. So, I mean, that's another testimonial from the festival. Me, I'm going to ask another person on our call now. Um, so um, we've had uh, Grant, who's been sitting there smiling <laughs> the whole session. Uh, I, I, I want to get your feelings, your input, whether you know what you're wanting to do, because you you look to me like a quiet person, but one of these really intelligent people who, when you speak, everyone else wants to listen. Appearances can be deceptive, Richard. <laughs> uh, I've just been swept along. I think um, I'm glad that I've carried over five days of this year's holiday because I know I'm going to be probably using quite a lot of it in February just to be part of uh, some of the events. Uh, I mean, I think it's just uh, Mercy's enthusiasm. You just can't help but be swept along by it. Um, uh, and it's just, yes, I think it's, it, it is fantastic. I've just... Um, registered on the website for the the newsletter um so yes it's i'm, I'm super excited um and f for me um yeah the great thing about covid and I, I, well, it's not a great thing but is the fact that these meetups have become you know they are soon now um so i mean i used to go to maybe one or two a month if i could when I, mean, I live in Peterborough, work in Milton Keynes, so you do Agile MK or Agile North Hands, and that's about it. But now, I, 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 I was on a session last week, oh, sorry, last night, you know, three last week, uh, I'm booking in stuff for next next week and next month, and it's just fantastic. And geography isn't an issue. I mean, the, there was a great one with um, uh, uh, Jeff Watts, and it was a, an Italian uh, meetup, and it was like, yeah, cool. Click six o'clock, seven o'clock, good to go. So um, yeah, so super excited. Um, yeah, I just can't wait really. Yeah. Thank you, Grant. Lovely to hear. And I, I want to open the floor up to anyone else who wants to 
to say something. Um, oh, so, sorry, apart from Mercy. So, sorry, Mercy. <laughs> I know you'll take it in the right way. <laughs> Hello. This is Grace Johnson. Hello, Grace. Good evening, everyone. Sorry, I've had to turn off my, my camera. My children have really been all over the place in the house, so I just had to <laughs> turn off and watch. But it's been an engaging, an engaging gathering it's really uh thank you to all of you shane everybody for putting this together it's really been very very well done thank you um i just wanted to add to Rajit, you're very welcome to become an ambassador for india we actually have some vacancies for some country areas in, in india and you're more than welcome when you apply i'll get your a notification and i'll be sending you uh, an email so welcome on board so so great to listen to everybody i love the i love michael the idea i'll be looking forward to it i think it's going to be explosive it's going to be really a learning opportunity for all of us thank you too grant you are, you actually put it well this lockdown has really been um, tough on the world and meetups have actually been an opportunity for us to come together and learn and um, share ideas so thank you all thank you sabrina thank you mercy thank you shane thank you jack thank you Mimi, Grant, Michael, everybody, thank you so much. Oh, you're very welcome, Grace. Lovely to see you. <laughs> Righty then, I think we are actually coming to an end now, unless anybody's got one more burning question, because it is half past, and we do like to keep timekeeping if possible. So, yes, thank so you very much. Very quickly, how am I yeah. going to uh, talk with Richard or, or you or with say or whoever wants to get involved in doing this what's the best way of doing that because i'm a newbie here i've just sent you a linkedin request ah, yeah. so yeah. drop me um except there you go you have to accept yeah. it now um drop me a message and i'll see what i can coordinate for you okay. i've sent you a link of my linkedin anyone that <laughs> wants to connect please connect connect away i'm on linkedin i've dropped the link yeah thank you and, and you can always get to us as the organizers of the uh, agile leaders and managers meetup as well but i'm sure i'm hoping that we will be in contact to you before you get to us thank you very much everybody we'll be loading this up into youtube and we'll make sure we'll be adding the links to the agile 20 reflect festival and our agile leaders and managers um, meetup group as well thank you very much for your time and have a wonderful merry christmas happy new year and festive time and keep safe, and we will see you all in 2021. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you. Thanks. 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 Bye. See you soon. Have a good evening. Bye.